Welcome to Hollywood Time Capsule. In this video, we take a look at how the actors from the iconic movie, One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest, have transformed over the years. You'll get to know their real names and find out how old they are today. We'll show you side-by-side -side comparisons of how they looked back then versus how they look now in 2023. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to our channel to stay up to date with more transformations of your favorite actors. Louise Fletcher played the character of Nurse Ratched in the film. She is the head nurse at the mental institution where the story takes place. She is depicted as a strict and authoritative figure who exercises complete control over the patients under her care. Louise was 38 years old when she starred in the film. Sadly, she passed away from natural causes in 2022 at the age of 88. She won an Academy Award for Best Actress for her portrayal of Nurse Ratched in this film, and also starred in many popular movies, such as The Exorcist II, Flowers in the Attic and Cruel Intentions. She continues to be celebrated as a remarkable actress, leaving an unforgettable mark on Hollywood and solidifying her enduring legacy. Mimi Sarkeesian played the character of Nurse Pilbo in the film. Nurse Pilbo is seen interacting with the patients in a more empathetic manner and shows concern for their well-being. She sometimes questions the harsh methods employed by Nurse Ratched but ultimately follows her lead. Mimi was 24 years old when she appeared in the film. Fast forward to today, and she is now 72 years old and despite sharing the screen with talented actors who went on to have long and fulfilling careers in the entertainment industry, this was the only film that Mimi ever starred in and she now enjoys a quiet life away from the spotlight. Brad Dorif portrayed the character of Billy Bibbit in the film. Billy is a patient in the mental institution where the story takes place. He is a shy, socially awkward young man with a stutter and a history of mental health struggles. Brad was 25 years old when he appeared in the film. Fast forward to today, and he is now 73 years old and he received an Academy Award nomination for Best Supporting Actor for his role in this film, and is perhaps best known for his portrayal of the killer doll Chucky in the Child's Play horror franchise. Having lent his voice to the iconic character in multiple sequels, becoming synonymous with the role. Sidney Lassick portrayed the character of Charlie Cheswick in the film. Charlie is one of the patients residing in the mental institution where the story takes place. He is depicted as a nervous, anxious individual who frequently becomes agitated and challenges the rules of the institution. Sidney was 53 years old when he starred in the film. Sadly, he passed away from complications of diabetes in 2003 at the age of 81. Apart from this film, he is best known for having starred in the popular movies, The Unseen, Rat Boy and American Vampire. Sidney's talent for portraying quirky and memorable characters made him a beloved and recognizable presence in the industry. Will Sampson portrayed the character of Chief Bromden in the film. Chief Bromden is one of the patients in the mental institution where the story takes place. He is a Native American and is initially depicted as a seemingly mute and withdrawn individual, often observing his surroundings silently. Will was 42 years old when he starred in the film. Sadly, he passed away from kidney failure in 1987 at the age of 54. In addition to this film, he also appeared in other notable films, including The Outlaw Josie Wales, alongside Clint Eastwood, Poltergeist II, and The White Buffalo. Beyond his artistic endeavors, he was a vocal advocate for Native American rights and cultural preservation. Jack Nicholson portrayed Randall McMurphy in the film, who is a charismatic and rebellious individual that pretends to be mentally ill in order to avoid prison sparking a battle against the oppressive nurse ratchet in a mental institution, becoming a symbol of individual freedom and resistance. Jack was 38 years old when he starred in the film. Fast forward to today, and he is now 86 years old and he is considered one of the most accomplished and respected actors in Hollywood history, known for his versatile performances and iconic presence on screen. His most notable performances include his portrayal of Jack Torrance in The Shining and The Joker in the 1989 film Batman. Muse Small played the role of Candy Star in the film. 
Candy is depicted as a young woman who works as a prostitute and has a casual relationship with the patients at the mental institution. Muse was 33 years old when she starred in the film. Fast forward to today, and she is now 81 years old and is best known for her roles in National Lampoon's Class Reunion, Man on the Moon, Sleeper and American Playhouse. She is also the lead singer of her band, Muse Small and the Small Band, who released a CD in 2008 called, Do What You Do. Danny DeVito portrayed the character of Martini. Martini is one of the patients in the mental institution where the story takes place. He is depicted as a quirky and eccentric individual with a childlike demeanor. Danny was 31 years old when he starred in the film. Fast forward to today, and he is now 79 years old and his contributions to the entertainment industry have earned him numerous awards and nominations, including an Emmy Award and a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. He is best known for having starred in numerous well-known films such as, Matilda, Throw Mama from the Train, Batman Returns and Twins. Vincent Schiavelli portrayed the character of Frederickson. Frederickson is one of the patients residing in the mental institution where the story takes place. He is depicted as a quiet and introverted individual with an unusual physical appearance, characterized by his tall and lanky stature. Vincent was 27 years old when he starred in the film. Sadly, he passed away from lung cancer in 2005 at the age of 57. He appeared in over 120 film and television projects throughout his career, often playing peculiar or offbeat characters. He is best known for his roles in Tomorrow Never Dies, Ghost and Fast Times at Ridgemont High. Aside from his acting career, Vincent loved cooking and was the author of three cookbooks, in addition to writing numerous articles on food for magazines and newspapers. William Redfield portrayed the character of Dale Harding. Dale Harding is one of the patients in the mental institution and is depicted as an intelligent and articulate individual who often engages in intellectual discussions and acts as a voice of reason within the group. William was 48 years old when he starred in the film. Sadly, he passed away from leukemia in 1976, only one year after the film was released, he was 49 years old when he died. Other than his portrayal of Dale Harding in this film, he is also best known for his role as Sam Kreutzer in the film, Death Wish. He had a long and illustrious career that spanned over three decades, having made his first ever acting debut at the age of 11 in the 1939 film, Back Door to Heaven. Christopher Lloyd played the character of Tabor. Tabor is one of the patients residing in the mental institution where the story takes place. He is depicted as a volatile and unpredictable individual with a tendency towards aggressive behavior. Christopher was 37 years old when he starred in the film. Fast forward to today, and he is now 85 years old and he has had a prolific career in film, television, and theater, known for his versatility and ability to portray a wide range of characters. He is best known for portraying Dr. Brown in the popular Back to the Future film trilogy, as well as his role as Uncle Fester in The Addams Family. And that concludes our exploration of the talented cast of One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest. Thank you for tuning in. If you enjoyed this video, please show your support by liking, subscribing and sharing your thoughts in the comments below on which movie cast you'd like to see in future videos.